What's up guys, it's Bernie with 2Fab and I am here with Raquel Castro. You were seven years old when you were cast in Jersey Girl yes. <laughs> alongside Ben Affleck. Yeah, that was, I'll never forget that time in my life. I wish, honestly, I wish I could go back to like seven to nine year old Raquel because she was so cool. I like watch interviews Aww. and I'm just like, man, like, you know, it was just like the innocence of the world and before, you know, I was jaded by anything. I was just like so present and living in the moment and just like, going with the flow like yeah. I was this little girl and I was with Ben Affleck little did I know like it was Ben Affleck because I didn't really see much of his work I was only seven years old of course so I was hanging out with Ben Affleck Liv Tyler who is the sweetest person in the world I wish I you know hi hi Liv <laughs> do you guys still contact we each other? don't for a bit okay. after um after Jersey Girl she gave me her email and we would email back and forth um and then you know just life happens and we lost yeah. touch but I would love to see her again she was so like an, again like a big sister mm -hmm. um George Carlin rest in peace I, I I feel so lucky that I got to work with him I think that was one of his last projects that he yeah. did before he passed um and everyone, everyone on the set just made me feel so at home and really, I think it was Kevin's first time working with like a child on set. Um, so like Halloween came around and we were like trick or treating oh. and they set it up, everyone brought their kids in, I dressed up and like everyone had candy in their trailers so we went around and went trick or treating. Like it was, a, it was an incredible cute. experience. They really, yeah. they spoiled me, they did. Do you have any favorite memories with Ben Affleck, you know, behind the scenes? Is there something you still remember to this day and laugh about or think about? <laughs> Um, I, I just remember always yelling at him for like cursing and smoking cigarettes. Oh my I god, was, like, this, seven like, little years Puerto old. Rican Italian, like, like <laughs> four foot, um, like mother on set. And I was like, I always used to yell at George Carlin for cursing. And like, I, I used to tell um, Kevin Smith, I think I said this in interviews when I was younger, I'm gonna get chemical dependency. Oh I was learning that in god. school from like Dare. Um, so I'm like, sorry, Ben, but still not good for you. Um, oh my god. Yeah, so I just rem they just made it so much fun, and um, I, I remember when we were rapping, like we all kind of got each other gifts. He had a dog, and I got him like how to like raise. Like, I don't know if it was like a Doberman for dummies or something like that. Oh my god, it was super fun. Uh, Liv got me like a Tiffany necklace, and wow. um, I remember Jennifer Jennifer Lopez actually sent me a bunch of her um, like clothes from her clothing line because she had like a kids oh clothing god. line. So that was cool. I wish I could still fit into that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so during Jersey Girl, yeah. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez were dating. They right? were, they were. So d can you tell us anything about like their dynamic, them as a couple? Yeah, so I I mean, Jennifer would always come on set, um, even when she wasn't filming, just to obviously like support Ben. Um, and I remember kind of like playing dumb a little bit because I was so young. So like kissing and dating was like weird to me. Um, but I remember Ben was like, yeah, so like, you know, I'm, I think they were actually like engaged at that point. Mm -hmm. And you know, he was telling me like how he's gonna be marrying Jennifer. And I was like, oh, and I remember like seeing them make out. I remember one time we were in oh um, Central Park. We were filming a scene and they were like kissing and a paparazzi got a really big picture of them. And it was like the head, it was like the uh, cover of Newsday, which is like the big newspaper out in New oh York. Oh my God. Um, New York Times, everything. It was like the big picture of them like making out. And I was like, oh my God, like that's like, Kind of like my mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, they were they were wow. they were a great great couple. They were a beautiful couple, and I think again, some you know this industry can take a toll not only on you personally, but yeah. the relationships that you have, and that's super unfortunate. And I think that was a big thing. There was a lot of um, they were just two Outside. insanely successful people, and she was like this pop star actress, and he was this really really serious actor. And I think just the press and the media really did took a toll on, on their relationship for sure. <laughs> By the way, I'm oh, Cuban and Italian, wait. so oh, I understand are? the insanity. I, I, <laughs> I, I have really? another story too, uh, Jennifer Lowe, yeah. I mean, I could just tell you guys, but she was she sang Jenny from the block for me before it came out. <laughs> before it came out? Yeah, before we were, anyone had heard it? Yeah, like she sang, she brought me into the bathroom in, um, at the end of Jersey Girl, there's like a scene where we're in this bar, like this like little dive bar, and I don't know why a seven year old was in the dive bar with them, but um, <laughs> in between takes, uh, Jennifer Lopez was like, hey, like, I don't know why I said Jennifer Lopez, but Jennifer um, said, hey, do you want to listen to my new song? We're releasing it. And Ben, uh, ben was in the video, too. So this was in, like, a wow. whole, like, time period of them filming it. So she brought me into, like, this, like, boy bathroom and she started singing it for me and like I was so like excited. personally serenaded by she, Jennifer Lopez? Like, I was personally, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, life goal met. Great. Wow. 
wow, I didn't even think about that. She taught me how to dance too. She taught me like this thing. Stop! Was, yeah, like, she, she did, I completely forgot about that. That's so funny. Yeah, there was a scene where I'm supposed to be dancing at the end and I was super awkward and I'm still super awkward. But like, she told me, she was like, hey, like sometimes when I freeze and I don't know what to do, I just go. And I was like, okay, so I did it, and like the whole like, crew was laughing. Oh my god, that's an amazing Crazy. story. She was actually supposed to be at the end of the movie with me too. There was a scene where like you see my hands and you see Jennifer Lopez's hands as like an angel, and Ben Affleck's on the side like picturing me meeting my mother yeah. for the first time. And then when everything happened with Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, um, they took that scene out, unfortunately. It is in the director's cut. I haven't seen it yet, but I need to see it um, oh. ASAP. Yeah, but you yeah, do. Yeah, that was a super cool thing. So I did wow. I actually get to work with her and, and have that experience with her, which is really cool.